Yama. So many Yama spots these days. Really big uptick in Yama spots. Okay, so it looks like 124.66 at Amber is also good. With chance of rares, I'm seeing at least two rare types. Three rare types possible over there. Isn't it interesting, like right now everybody's using these tiny boilies at Amber. I feel like I want to try that. I know it's going to be smaller on average, but I guess every once in a while you get a get a lucky big one. Trophy grass carp. Trophy Chinese sleeper. What the heck? What is this post even about? Where are they fishing at? That's Tunguska. Wait, are there? Interesting. Okay. That is such a strange, I mean, that's like one of the strangest posts. Huh. All right. Let's get fishing. I don't know, we'll, we'll see how it goes, but Wait, why didn't that, uh, why didn't my, why didn't my happy hour start? I didn't fish. I, I haven't played this game in like three or four days. Been super busy. Should have been like an auto start to happy hour, right? Anyway, what I was going to say is I'm thinking about keeping it at about like 20 meter depth. Focus on these small fish for a little bit. Maybe we'll like throw on a backup, uh, get a backup rig together. Because at night, I'd rather uh, fish off the bottom maybe on some uh, foam, that kind of stuff. I mean, that's a long time to not get a bite when we're fishing for small stuff. Maybe I will let it go a little deeper. Okay, there we go on the drop. Okay, so we sit it at 20 for a couple seconds and then drop it past that if we need to. That's a pollock. Sardine. Yeah, this is like worst time of day for fishing. Not worst, but pretty rough. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and set up our backup rod just so we're ready to go. I actually think I want to turn this one to pilker though, instead of doing a um, uh, we're gonna need a bunch of hooks. Wait, can we do 4-0 on handmade? No, it's 3-0. But I gotta have a bunch of hooks somewhere, right? I know we have enough to do. I guess there might be 3-0s on this rod I'm holding like farther down. Oh. Why does the Poseidon, oh, that's the weirdest setup I've ever seen. We're gonna stop looking at that and immediately take all of our hooks back. All right, so we'll do red, yellow. It is going to be nighttime. Let's throw a black on there. All right, I like it. 
like it. Some safe bait. Uh, shoot, I can't remember the. All right, let's just find out. Four point three. Does this give us two or four? That gave us two, so we should have done smaller. I, th I thought that was right. I think it's like five point something that turns it into four. Five point six for four. Thank you, Ephraim. All right, there's a sardine. Hi to you as well. Hi to you as well. On the drop. Uh, Maddie says, any news about any updates? Not that I've heard, Maddie. Assuming you heard the Carp Hunters stay tuned update where they showed that one picture that's the most recent thing i've heard about i was trying out size 12 squids in the unmarked 55 max didn't let it drop past 15. that's cool i'm catching tiny max right now I actually am surprised at how poorly we're doing at the moment. I think I'm going to change to a, a different lure instead of the Jigmeister. And some herring. Ooh. Well, maybe I'll finish this day here, and then maybe we drift up there and check that out. I don't know. So you've got the 12 squids. Okay. Carp stand looks interested. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the carp stand especially. I don't know. I'm not willing to get my hopes up at what that new carp could be or what that could imply or anything like that because I think it could be any rank. Like a, it could be something like pretty small, uh, like not that significant. But even if it isn't like a super exciting brand new carp map or something, just that carp stand the for the the rod pod that's pretty exciting to me all right it's starting to pick up a little bit with it getting a little later in the day nice size on that one too Yeah, that is what we want. You're right. Pink, yellow, and floral squids.
and the White Lurker. Um, Medno? Wow. How, wait, how, how do we know that that's what the picture's called? Was that just literally, like, visible on the website? They still need to bring us the fly? Yeah, what happened to the fly? It's the name of the file. Ooh, that's a nice herring. One time I got it past the max and safe, I got a European squid at the bottom. Oh, nice. Where do you see the name of the file at, though? I didn't know you could see the name of the file on their website of a picture they've posted. Blunt he's a coder? Hmm. I am certainly not. Any picture has a name when you download it. Oh, cool. We're on a roll here. Nice sorry followed in previous. Nice herring before it. And we're getting hit on the on the drop every time. It's gotten a little better. Oh, really nice mackerel. Isn't that close to trophy? 1.57. Okay, Mr. Lucky Fury, greetings. Yo, what's up, Faux King? Hope you're doing well. Welcome back. Well, I want to look up this lake and see like where it is and what it is. I mean, do, do you, have y'all heard of that place? Is that like a well-known? Uh, here's a Wikipedia post about it. I guess that's fine. This is in Russia. See, I was not expecting the next map to be in Russia. I really wasn't. I, I, I mean, there's no reason to think that they won't go back to Russia. I mean, but I just, I was expecting them to continue to get like farther and farther away from Russia. And it's just for like variety. Reservoir in Leningrad, Oblast, Russia. Like, what do the images of this place look like? Cute little duck, I guess. I mean, it's definitely a lake. I don't, I don't really know what to say. It's a lake. It's kind of a lake. I don't know. Oh, is, is it near St. Petersburg? I'm seeing this one image that has like what appears to be St. Petersburg near it. Or at least it talks about St. Petersburg. It's right off of a uh, nature preserve. Yeah, it's got to be near St. Petersburg from the label I'm seeing. Oh. Yo, Kinder, what's up? So I, it, it seems to me this is a uh, this is a lake near uh, near St. Petersburg. I found one that actually has St. Petersburg in the name. But you know, I wish you could see the city in the background, but maybe it's not so close that um, that you can do that. It's you know, kind of looks like a lake. There's an aerial view. So is that St. Petersburg back there? Maybe. Uh, or maybe St. Petersburg, Peters, Petersburg, again, is just not close enough even with the aerial view to see it. It's pretty cool, though. I don't know. So will they bring fly into that map also? No, nah, this, does, this does not look like the fly fishing update. Uh, this does, if, if it really ends up being that lake, that doesn't seem like... That would be a surprise if that's when they did it. That's, that feels like they're... 
finally going to give all the carp, the carp fishermen some new content. Which, you know, they look at the numbers. Besides fishing at Norway, I would guess that carp fishing is the most popular type of fishing in the game. Do you all agree or disagree? If you take Norway fishing out, since it's the newest map and sort of is so off the chart in terms of how much money you can make. Even if you don't do carp fishing, do you think it's the second most popular in the game? I think it is. Uh... Just guessing, not much to go on. We'll know when they add game files. I do wonder if they'll do it ahead like Norway, if it'll drop with the lake. Yeah, that's a good question. Just brought the Congo DLC. I'm having a blast on Fishing Planet right now. Oh, that's awesome, Kinder. What uh, what type of fish you catch in there? Congo DLC. Is that the Timon situation or is that something else? Someone mentioned the cliffs in the screenshot actually look like a river because lakes typically don't have those cliffs. Yeah, I, I honestly hope that if there is a new map, like, I don't know. There was nothing about the look of that map, just the brief little image we got in that picture, that was exciting. It looks like a little stream or something. I mean, it just didn't look that impressive. But, yeah, that didn't look like a big... But you never know, like, what perspective that was or whatever. Not Kulu. What's up? Welcome back. Uh, I'm doing good. Yeah, I've been really busy, but um, it's definitely starting to slow down again, which I'm always thankful for. You know, I had about a month ago, my schedule slowed down a little bit. I don't know if you follow my YouTube channel, but if you follow my YouTube channel, I've had a lot of content coming out over the last month. Well, the truth is a lot of that content was filmed back like around a month ago. A month to like three weeks ago when I had more time. So looking forward to, I've almost burned through all of my content, but looking forward to having a little more time to stream and, and uh, play games and stuff again soon. So a couple people are agreeing with me about carp fishing. Yama has been doing pretty good. Yeah, that's true. Like so many posts about Yama. I haven't done a ton of fishing there, but so many posts about Oh, you're fishing for the Goliath Tiger. Really? Uh, thanks, Not Coolio. Appreciate it. Yeah, I've really been... Uh... All right, so if you don't care about my non-fishing or RF4 content, just close your ears for about 30 seconds. But I really have been doing a lot of experimentation with other types of games. Um, and the main thing I've been doing is sort of leaning into my um, love of board games, even in some of the digital things I've been playing around with. Um, so I am finally, I have finally figured out a setup and I'm going to, I think, start funneling some of that board game content to a different YouTube channel. So I've got a, a YouTube channel uh, that I've reserved I reserved it with my son like two, three years ago because we had plans on what we wanted to do with it. And we've just never had the time to like really, well, I finally kind of figured out a way to do some, to set it up so I can actually do some physical board game content. And then I'll also put digital board game content on that channel as well. So once I get it up and running, get a few videos over there, I will certainly let you guys know because I would at that point really appreciate the support uh, if you're willing to like go over and drop me a sub or whatever it looks like when you start a new channel It's so hard to get Traction in the beginning, but um, Anyway, I'm really looking forward to doing that. So we'll see how that goes Yo mystic, how's it going? Uh, I thought about just doing all of the like digital and physical board game content on this channel It's so tempting because I already have like some people at least on this channel that like board games that probably wouldn't mind that content but I think there's some wisdom in like you want somebody that comes to your channel to sort of expect to know what to expect and so long term it probably makes sense to actually have a totally different channel for the board game stuff because if somebody's like a big RF4 fan and then they like, and they just discover my channel and they're like, oh, I want to see what the next content's going to be. 
And then it's like, you know, I don't know, the history of Carcassonne or something. Uh, they might just bounce off. Like, what the, this isn't, this isn't what I'm interested in. So I think it makes sense to do it. Okay. Anyway, enough chat about that. Um, how you doing, Mystic? Oh my goodness, I'm so hot. Like, I'm literally going to have to go put shorts on in a second. Maybe once it hits overnight. It is so hot up here in my upstairs. Foking, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a great Easter weekend. Yo, Big Daddy just called a UL Russian sturgeon. That's just weird. Blunty says, I also made a new channel. Been posting some RF store stuff. RF4 stuff. Uh, yo, where's the link? Come on. Whisper me a link. I'll, I'll advertise for you. If anybody has RF4 YouTube content that they want to promote, you're welcome to post it in my Discord channel under self-advertising. And you're also welcome to send me a link and I will post it here right now. You're good? Uh, yeah, my fishing's been okay. I've, I've been really busy this past like week and a half, two weeks, so I really have not gotten much fishing in. Like when I've released fishing videos on YouTube, like I think there's been two that I've actually filmed lately in the past week or so, and that's pretty much the only fishing I've done. I've just been really busy. But right now, the fishing, I would say, is lackluster. This has not been as good as 34 normally is for me. Thank you, Blunty. All right, let's go White Lurker. We'll go ahead and start like the process of getting it set up. All right, hold on. Love it. Love it. All right, guys. Here's your one job for right now. Go support Blunty on YouTube. Go check out Blunty on YouTube. I'm going to steal your content for my content, Blunty. Look, there's Blunty. Blunty is literally trolling Corey in this video that he just released 10 hours ago. Come on, hit that subscribe button. He has got to have way more subscribers than that. Blunty has done so much for this community. Keep on hitting it, guys. I mean, looks like really good quality, Blunty. Although you know about streaming, don't you? You are not new to the streaming thing, even if you don't typically do RF4 content. All right, good deal. Y'all keep hitting that, uh, keep hitting that blunty button. All right, what are we doing? We're going to put this on. Uh, we'll just embrace the white, I think. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Deuce. Could not live without the Blunty Excel sheet. How much time has that Excel sheet sent, saved me over the years at this point in going to exactly where I wanted to go to on VK to find the exact information I wanted or to remember something about this or that. So... Yo, Dark Rocket, thank you so much. Yeah, I need to go look at my YouTube channel. It's been one of those things where I was so, I've been so busy that I haven't really, like, I, you know, I set it all up when I had time to, and it was sort of like having a release schedule. Uh, let me go to my channel here. Actually, let me go to studio, 
so I can examine like how things are going over there. And so I've just been so busy, but like I said, I'm, I'm starting to have more time again, so it'll be nice. Yeah, we crossed 6K subscribers, which is, which is ridiculous. Like, that is so cool that, uh, oh, that's right. I forgot to upload. There was a, I had a, um, stinking like uh, thumbnail picked out for a video the other day. And then I just never uploaded the thumbnail to it. It was that one with the uh, the mosquito bream hotspot or whatever. I think I had a screenshot I was going to use for that. Let me see. Yeah, I think I wanted to use this one actually because it has such a pretty view of, of me fishing in that spot with like the moon in the background and stuff. I'm going to change it to that really quick just because I, I wanted to and then never did. Mosquito night fishing. All right, there we go. Now I can update, update the th thumbnail. Upload thumbnail should be under pictures and mosquito night fishing oh, file is bigger than two megabytes what what okay forget it i'll worry about it later so ridiculous all right it is 10 27 so we'll switch to our nighttime set up here second uh soon the leveling guides for skills save you buckets of silver too yes they totally do totally good point deuce nice pollock Yeah, so here's the deal, Dark Rocket. I haven't touched the Angler or Fishing Planet or anything else that you've been seeing me playing lately on YouTube. I haven't touched it in like two weeks because I've just been so busy. That's what I'm saying. Like I set all that stuff up way in advance because uh, those games really aren't as time sensitive. If I record something in RF4, I try to have it come out like that day because it's time sensitive, right? But with those games, like spots don't change that much. So, uh, so I don't know, like, yeah, that's right. Angler was free. I actually wanted to make a video about that and I just never had time. So I am up for playing more of the angler. Like, I think that's possible. It's just, it'll be interesting to see once I like have a little bit more time, kind of what I drift back to and stuff. All right, so this is where we were going to use our second setup with our handmade and actually let it drop to the bottom and see how we do here. Although we are right on the edge. That could be a good thing. We'll see. So we've got handmade foam. So instead of the shrimp right now, we're using handmade foam since it's nighttime to see if we can catch a couple decent sized fish. Got it, but you don't, don't know if you'll ever play it. Yeah, I hear you. It's definitely better than it was when it first came out. That's for sure. And I've never played the Spain map, which probably has more bottom fishing opportunities that I would like to try. I just don't know. I don't even own the Spain reservoir yet. I wonder if that's on sale. Yeah, it would be cool. Like, whether it's catching monster fish in Fishing Planet or legendary fish in uh, Angler, that does sound fun. 
I just don't have um, on the angler. I'm not there yet. Not there yet on equipment. Like I don't have strong enough equipment. Do you think the Venga is an upgrade over the Regal? I bought my first one today and realized I need three for sturgeon fish. Sturgeon fishing, yeah. Uh, the Venga is an upgrade in terms of like just raw power, but the Regal is an upgrade in terms of raw fun. So it's a hard question to answer. I mean, the only thing that even allows the Regal to be in the same conversation as the Venga is the way that we fish out here on Norway with locking our setups. Like, if not for that, then it wouldn't even be close, but... I mean, right now... If you're interested in Norway at all, you're probably going to make more silver at Norway. And so if you're having fun making silver at Norway, just kind of do that for a while and then, you know, sort of save up silver to do what you want to do later. I don't know. Yeah, the two gear ratio is amazing. I agree. Yeah, no, I mean, and if you are fishing at Norway a lot, I would definitely get a Regal if that's what you're wanting to do. But if you're wanting to fish other places, then yeah, what Mystic said is true. Um, is there a recommendation for a casting rod to buy if I enjoy catching salmon trout? Are you talking about trolling or just like casting from the shore? So now happy hour activates, it's so weird. Like I should have had happy hour from yesterday though. I don't know, whatever. Uh, Maybe the Model 1 casting rod? I don't know. The Model 1's probably like a good safe choice because you can do both very comfortably. You can use it for trolling. You can use it for casting. More trolling? Yeah. I'd say something like the Model 1 maybe. I don't know. I haven't looked. Like I, I think sometimes it's easier if you already know like what reel you're going to put with it. That provides information based on like how how heavy of leaders and stuff are you going to want to run on it. That's right. And different, different uh, rods will have different tests. Although so will the reels on casting setup. So you got to make sure you're keeping in mind what lures you want to use. I don't, yo, Mystic, what, what are you talking about the new update as in the carp picture or what are you talking about? There you go, Seismic. It's always nice to hear other people say that because like that's, that's what I think and that's what I think I would do. But, you know, sometimes I... I just wonder if I'm wrong. <laughs> oh yeah, big fish is more inconsistent. You can definitely do a lot better silver wise on big fish at times. It's just hard to compete with the consistency of the small to medium approaches at 34, 41, sometimes 55. Well, especially trolling. Trolling is what's like playing the lotto, in my opinion. I mean, you look at that VK Nor Norway uh, section, and you see some crazy good fish, and it's like somebody caught that trolling. 
but you look at their net and you see it's really slow. And some of the other fish they caught while trolling wasn't that good, but then they did hit that one really good one. So do you think you'll hit the jackpot or not? I mean, that's kind of the thing. I guess you won't hit the jackpot if you don't try. That's a certainty, but... Yeah, it can happen for sure. I do think the model the model one is a reasonable recommendation for the Zyman if you go with the Zyman. Is your, uh, who was it that told me to go up to the 955 mark spot? Crap, I think I've already lost the, oh yeah, no, I found it. It was Ephraim, okay, pink, yellow, floor. I was afraid I had lost the, uh, I was afraid I had lost the um, information. All right, so what size hooks can you have? Up to 6-0, ooh, what size hooks you like on this? We could do like four at least. I don't know. Uh, okay, there's Flora. And let's see, what else did you say? Pink and, pink and yellow, gotcha. Oh shoot, that's the big one. I might not have the um, small one. Yeah, so I need to, uh, I need to. Call the submarine. All right, uh, sea is really foggy right now. Shakar says, Trolley Norway sent six months for the Tuna and Sword Trophy expensive hobby. That, that sounds maddening to me. A lot of Pollock on 55 with 30 meter clip. Oh, cool. Hey, we see the sales. I actually was just thinking, like, I wonder if you get to see sales from the uh, submarine. All right, so the tiny Venga is on sale. Oh, big boy Z series 260. So this is a 6,000. It is saltwater safe, which that's so interesting that that one would be saltwater safe. And it's 20% off. Not the best sale ever. I'm not sure that this is worth even th really. That's a that's a nice. I mean. Eight gold for a Sabre 60, whatever. It's okay. Uh, that is the nice Royal Picker. If you're wanting to catch a carp on a picker, that's the way you do it, right? I got a fish on. But it looked like all the prices weren't, was it 20% off? Is that the best they, they have right now? Come on, you little cusk. Hello? 
We cannot get it any higher right now. There it goes. Uh, yeah, 20% off for everything. All right. Squitters. Where are our tiny squids? All right, got it. Get out of here. Get out of here, submarine. Nemo. Two hundred and fifty hours of trolling, around a hundred and fifty swords, fifty tuna, and nowhere near trophy. I just I just don't know. I don't know. That's that sounds really tough. That sounds really tough to me. You hit four tunas in four hours last night. Were you trolling or was this just perking on the bottom or just uh, sitting in one spot? Trolling eight. Oh, really? How was the bite rate? I mean, I almost don't even want to hear that it's a good bite rate because it's never a good bite rate for me. Slow. Thank you. <laughs> I just, I just can't. I just can't. I know that this just isn't the direction they chose to go and I kind of understand from their perspective why they didn't, but as fun as Norway is, and it is a ton of fun, I still do really wish that we had some rod holders and that we could like throw chum out into the water and just kind of chill waiting on that big fish to hit one of our rods that are in the water you know what i mean maybe you've got one on each side and then you've got your little your little setup in your hands trying to catch small fish to add to your chum bucket or whatever oh man wouldn't that be so fun i feel like it would be so fun All right, there's our setup. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, you could do that. I mean, if it, in terms of realistic, like what I've seen done, I mean, I've been out on trips like that where that's the kind of fishing we did. You could do it trolling at a slow pace. You could also just do it sitting in one spot. I mean, that's what most people do when they take people out for sea fishing is they just sort of know the spots to go sit, throw shrimp or bait fish or whatever else out, and uh, hook into the fish. The spiny. I think one more and then we'll head north, go check out this uh, 55 area. Yeah, that's right, Mystic. Although I think you would also, I mean, because I'm not even talking about just going for big fish. Like you could, I don't know. I, I suspect that you could make so much silver that way. Yo, thanks, Blunty. Me too. Holy cow. <laughs> what a game changer that's been. 
that's also going to be really important for my uh, my board game channel as well, being able to pause stuff. What in the world? Because I, I really like... I really didn't want to get into like full on editing. But just being able to pause is amazing. Is that right, Blunty? Well, I mean, like, here's my first question is, what, like, is there a, what software do you recommend? I mean, is there a free software or is there a reasonably, a reasonably priced premium software? Like, I used to have something, it was free. This was 10 years ago, I don't know, maybe not quite 10 years ago, it was a bunch. When I first started doing YouTube videos, I had something and I would just like throw all of the different video clips into one program and then I would go in and I would rearrange and slow down. I mean, I was, you know, editing stuff. But somehow like with my old man brain, like I have no idea what I was using. I remember doing it. I think the problem is I didn't do it long enough for it to really stick with me. Uh, so once I bounced off of that and started streaming, like, I just don't even remember it. All right, DaVinci. So, like, could I just take a bunch of video clips, throw it into that, and start doing some stuff? All right, let me let me bookmark their, their website or something. Wait, so I just clicked on what I thought was their website and now I'm watching some sort of trailer for different movies. Is this showing off what's been made in this software or what, what am I looking at here? It's like Marvel stuff and all this free download. So is the free version Oh, I see. So the whole studio is two ninety five. I got you, but the free one's okay, huh? So it doesn't have a watermark. Does it actually look legit? All right, I'm gonna bookmark it. Yo, what's up, Ramathor? How you doing? All right, cool. Thank you, Blunty. I appreciate it. I probably won't do a whole lot with editing, although you never know. You never know. It's good to just have an option. Yo, who? you're right, Ephraim. We are catching the max right now. It's awesome. Oh, where are you? You're over near my way, huh? Cool. Yeah, that would be great, Blunty. Maybe sometime over the summer when I'm uh, when I've got some time, if you if you have time. I'm usually like okay at figuring things out. I just, and I know like there's always tutorials and stuff online or whatever, but for some reason I just couldn't remember what I used. And I felt like every time I, you know, had time to do a quick search of like, oh, what's some good options? I stumbled into a bunch of crap that was just like not very good or just basically advertising their, their paid version. Picking up half a cow. I hope you got the good half. 
Oh, that's awesome, Blunty. Uh, am I streaming much over the weekend? That's a great question. I know I'm not streaming tomorrow. So the question will be, do I get a stream in Sunday and Monday? And probably I will because I have, um, uh, I have like over half the day Sunday, I'll be home. And then Monday I'm working from home, but pretty free. So not tomorrow, but possibly Sunday and Monday is what I would say. 300 pounds of beef. That's awesome. Including the organs. What are you going to do with the organs? So Blunty, are you like able to support yourself? Sorry, this is getting personal. I don't need to ask you personal questions, but that's great. I'm glad to hear that you're at a point where you're, you're able to do that. You eat the organs? I don't think I eat organs. You moved to South Alabama. Wait, when you say South Alabama, do you mean, yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Do you mean Mobile, like Eastern Shore, like that kind of thing? Where do you mean, Blunty? You don't have to say exactly, but like, that's a great question. How long is 300 pounds of beef going to last? I grew up in Fairhope, Alabama. If anybody knows where that is. Daphne in Fairhope, Alabama. The other side, bottom right. Wait, isn't that like... That's real near Florida then, right? It's about a year for a whole family. That's amazing. That's awesome. Hey, at least we're uh, at least we're making some safe bait. <laughs> yeah, we the three of us are very close together. We need to schedule a, a board game weekend. Meet up somewhere fun and play board games. I know y'all thought I was gonna say fish, but I didn't. Really mystic. Okay, so now we got four of us for our board game board game con. I just moved up from Biloxi to Huntsville. <laughs> Australia. Mmm, never mind. You're out. You're out. You gotta start saving now, Mystic. That's a long way. Uh, you're in Florida. Galv, are you in the Panhandle or like down in Central Florida or, or farther? What's a good spot for carpet bear? Mm, I don't know. I haven't looked at bear recently. Yo, Mui, how's it going? Bonita Springs. That means beautiful springs. The springs of beauty. Bonita Springs, Florida. Where are you? You are east of Bonita Peach. Sorry, I meant to say Bonita Beach. You are... Oh, cool, south of Fort Myers. All right, I'm starting to get an idea. I've, I've never been that far south into Florida. Never, ever have I ever. Good portion of Zero's audience watches M Dog. Zero sounds like a, a good person then. Oh, sorry. Dang it. That was a whisper. Wait, was that a whisper? No, I don't think that was a whisper. I think it's okay that I said that out loud. Uh Yo yo, believe or not, saw your almost all videos. Yo Thanks. Take care, mate. Tapecom, thank you so much for the thousand bits. And uh, appreciate the support over on YouTube. Thank you so much. Dark Rocket, thanks for the follow three hours ago, by the way. How did you know I was going to stream tonight? You were just like on top of that follow, Dark Rocket. 
Thanks again, Tapecom. I really appreciate it. Do I have any, uh, do I still have any members on YouTube? That's an interesting question. Let's find out. I love having members on YouTube. Like it is one of the coolest things. It's like this little community. How do I check this out? Under audience maybe? Ooh. I also like that you can see the top other channels that your that your average viewers watch. That's cool. Like of course like people like Grossy shows up on that list. Am I like off the, we are, we're in a little deeper spot. That's okay, we'll make it work. Oh, memberships. Oh, holy cow. Are we up to nine members now? Wow, y'all been going crazy. I've never had nine members before. Yo, I gotta make a members only video just to say thank you. That's amazing. That's so cool. We got to drift our boat back down to 55, by the way. Time to make more bids for sure. I got to get on that. Tapecom says very rarely catch you live. Yeah, I hear you. I'm so freaking in inconsistent these days. Although I was just talking about how I'm, I've got a little more time right now. And then I'm on an academic schedule with work. So I'll have June and July, like, and when we're not out of town, I'm just available. So a lot more streams, a lot more consistent, um, YouTube content, both on my M dog gaming channel, as well as my board game channel, which is about to birth into creation into the world. It's about to go through the creation process and be birthed into the world. I don't know why that was so hard to say. And I feel like it came out really awkward. But that's what's happening. You're at level 39. That's awesome. Challenge. Congrats. 39. Challenge Dang. Exam. How long have you been playing? Dark Rocket subscribes new sub alert thank you so much dark rocket by the way i'm not gonna i won't call you out if you don't want to be called out so i'm not gonna say your name out loud but i do want to see if it's any of you folks who are actually among my members and i've just got to figure out how to see who my members are i think i can see it on this page there's a way because i've like I've stumbled my way. Oh, yep, here it is. All right. See all members. Yo. It is some of you. And the most recent one that joined my members list is one of you. Holy cow. Y'all are amazing. Yo, Dark Rocket, thanks for the sub. Again, Tapecom, thanks for the bits. Thousand bits, like that's legit. Thank you so much. I mean, everything's legit. It's legit just being here, following. Thank you so much. All right. With breaks about four years. So did you, let's see, how long have I been playing? I don't actually mean how many days in game. I mean, when did I first play this game? This is always hard to figure out, but I can get there. Oh crap. I think if I search our uh, restaurant fishing for, and then sort it by oldest, I can see my first video. Yo, dark rocket says I hold you responsible for getting me addicted to RF four. Yo, uh, what comes with that responsibility? <laughs> that sounds a little scary. Uh, if you need help getting unaddicted, 
Well, I don't know. I, I might not be the best person for that, but just let me know. I'll try to, I'll try to find you somebody. All right. So how do I, okay, this might be harder than I thought. I mean, I started playing when like within six months of the rush of the English servers coming out, English servers came out within that next six month period. I started playing. All right. So there, let's see. So what if I s sort, uh, oldest, all right, now we'll just scroll down to when RF4 starts. We have to we have to scroll through about a million Hearthstone and uh, Lotro videos. Oh, 10 years ago, I went nine and two in an arena run. That's back when you only needed nine wins for arena. I think these days it's 12. I haven't played Hearthstone in a couple of years, actually. All right, we're past Hearthstone. We're into Lotro. challenge yo mystic i love your advice challenge accepted oh i forgot about the smite age i played smite for a while oh look at this there was like a week and a half where i used um where i used a uh where i used a chroma look at this look at this you can see how red my skin is because blunty wasn't there to teach me about white balance Thank goodness Blunty's around now. Yo, Hype Train, level one achieved. Liggy, resubs. That's 15 months. Liggy, I don't thank you enough, Liggy, for your support. It has been a long time since you've been supporting me. Thank you for your continued support. I really appreciate it, Liggy. You deserve more thank yous, so thank you. You started on Steam and then you moved to standalone. You checked your first achievement. Nice. Smite was great. Yeah, Smite was great back in the day, I think. Challenge. Yo, Dormanite. Challenge accepted. I've been doing good. How are you? There is Shaq Shaker. Sorry if I can't say your name right, but Prime Sub. Just think of all of the thousands and thousands of channels shaker could have thrown that prime sub at and i don't know it might be the alcohol under the influence who knows but for some reason the decision was made to throw the prime sub here and i really appreciate it oh my goodness were any of y'all around like this isn't too far before rf4 i was playing through all of the assassin's creed games of course i didn't make it of course i didn't make it all the way through because there's so many and they're like hundreds of hours, but there was, an, there was an effort. Oh, RF4 just jumped all over my screen. All right, this is interesting. I think y'all will like this. Not really, but I mean, you might. So we went from Hearthstone. I was always dabbling in Hearthstone. We played They Are Billions. This was like beta pre preview version 0 0.4.5. Of course, the, uh, the real version of They Are Billions has been out for a while now starting still trying to do some uh, assassin's creed project and then origins boom ultimate fishing simulator so what happened with ultimate fishing simulator is during that time six years ago amar who's around a good bit y'all some of y'all know amar we were like talking and we both wanted to find a cool fishing game i was like googling it i was deep into like forums online and i kept seeing people talk about rf4 and so finally, I told Amar, like, I'm going to fight, figure out what this game is. I downloaded it. And right here, six years ago, here's the first video on RF4. I don't even think I can. I'm so young. Uh-oh. Speaking of white balance, I look red right now. The heck's going on? <laughs> All right. What the heck? Yeah, Twitch uh, for with M Dog Gaming is what you're looking for. Uh, we often are streaming this Russian fishing. But if you want to jump right into, sp just be quiet. I don't want to listen to myself. Just want to see what fishing look like. 
Because back, back then, it does look a little different. There are some differences. Yo, are we in that spot? There was this spot at Old Mosquito. I used to love float fishing there. It was so cool. Yeah, that's the spot. It was just this little alcove. I just stood there fishing. Yeah, bamboo rod. Look at me level one already making videos. I mean, this is this is my main account. You know what I mean? Like baby face. Yeah, I was a lot younger. Like I know it's only six years, but those are like six key years for me moving from like adult to something past adult, middle aged. <laughs> Late middle-aged adult. I don't know. Ideas on how to get started. I'm in better shape now than I was then. That's the only like positive thing I can say. I'm in better physical shape right now than I was then. So take that old M dog. Uh, what a community. I don't know what this does, but I'll click on it. Choo choo. Yo, Ephraim's right. Like, it it just doesn't make it to the bottom. <laughs> oh, Mystic, that's such a good question. That's such a good question. Run away. I'm just kidding. Just have fun. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey, like, which I really think I did. I mean, I was coming from Lord of the Rings Online, which is totally a journey game, right? So I was already in that mindset enough, but like definitely just leaning into enjoying what's right in front of you. Don't, don't think about, oh, I just want to get here or there, do something in the future. Don't let that rob you from just the fun that you can have with whatever it is you're able to do right there in front of you. it out while you still can this is where i am on the map the unmarked 55 ephraim ephraim is the one that suggested we come here um missed uh ramathor says i need to get on finishing chasing that donuts rough so rough it's all i have left to close winding i haven't even closed winding but i need the stinking uh zebra muscle or something like that We have turned 100% of the safe we've caught today in debate. I'm <laughs> uh, just thinking about what, who was it? Was it Mystic that said that? I think it was. It might've been somebody else. Yeah, it was Mystic. If you want to get un unaddicted, subscribe to M-Dog's new board game channel. <laughs> I'm not going to even tell you what it's called yet. I don't even know if you can subscribe to it since I don't have any videos uploaded yet. Uh, wait, really? 87103 with blood worms for zebras right now? Seriously? 
can't remember how I take notes on this. I'll figure it out. Probably Notepad++. Plus plus. Notepad++. Plus plus plus. Whoa! Get out of here. So you got a couple sharks at 80 last night, nothing big and a basking. Ooh, interesting. Do you know the clip by any chance? Ramathor? I'm gonna throw this throw this up. <laughs> Am I out here coding stuff? Oh no. Oh no, definitely not. I'm just gonna leave this on the leave this up case tomorrow I want to go after that zebra or something. <sighs> Purdue's winning at halftime over Gonzaga. Uh, Duke's about to come on. NC State still beating Marquette. You know, NC State's 11 seed, but they looked really good in the ACC tournament. They almost beat North Carolina towards the end of the year. They played really good against Duke. I, like, NC State, even though they had some rough patches over the season, they were always going to be a tough team to get out. Uh, when's the new POE League come out? I probably spent the same amount of time trying to get the shark out of water as I did fighting it. Oh, is that right? Was it is was it an annoying one? What have you been playing recently apart from Russian fishing? Uh, board games. But I haven't had much time. I've been learning how to play Cthulhu Death May Die because my wife and I are gonna play it. Um, we're playing we've got it, we're playing we've got a just a day full of board games tomorrow. We're gonna have a blast. We're like dog sitting for some people. We got no responsibilities other than taking care of the dogs. We're just gonna play board games. Lots of new stuff for in game. It's out today. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I don't know. It got stuck under the surface. Yeah, those are annoying, Dormanite. Those can be really annoying. Have I been playing anything else lately? I don't think so. Like, I just haven't had time. I've only played Russian Fishing 4 lately, and it's hardly been any at all. So, new PoE League. Interesting. Might check it out. Yeah, no, this has been great. Oh, I need to drift back up. This has been really good though. Ephraim was right. Like the bite rate's been great. A lot of mackerel. If you don't, if you want some mackerel, some pollock, but a lot of mackerel. And I've turned a lot of safe into bait. I mean, we had way more safe than what I'm showing because we've turned all of it into bait. All you've ever played is RF4 and. Um, Hold on, don't tell me. Can't think of it. Hold on. Hold on. I got this. Oh, that's Diablo 2 Resurrected, isn't it? Is that Diablo 2 Resurrected? Is that what that means? <laughs> I've been trying to figure out what that means. Um, yo, Terraforming Mars? Yeah. So, have you played Terraforming Mars Ares Expedition? That's actually my son's favorite game. It's like the card, ver card game version of Terraforming Mars. I have not played Zombicide yet, although I have massive darkness 2 which at least shares some commonalities with zombie side 
And also, what I was just talking about, Cthulhu Death May Die, that's not that different than Zombicide either. It's a little different, but... Ooh, look at that hake. European hake. Uh, T17 maps. League is a crafting system thing. Okay, that could be cool. You use corpses to improve crafts in a graveyard. Juicing maps has changed. They remove sextants and how it's all scarabs. You can now get Jun and such. Jun and such through passive tree at 100% rate. Decent shakeup. Okay, cool. That sounds interesting. Yeah, it took me a minute to figure out what that was, Ramathor, but I got there. I got there. Oh, there's an update for uh, Notepad. Is that what's sitting here waiting for my attention? I can't find my mouse. Oh, there it is. Come on. Oh, come on. That's cool, Blunty. I'll check that out. How many safe y'all think I've turned into bait? 12 to 20? We have had a nice bite rate. I want to, I want to, POE and just got to finish my final months at uni. Oh, nice. You're almost done, huh? What's your plan when you finish, Dark Rocket? They added another map in, wait, did they? Are you talking about the dwarf game, Blinty? There's a new biome? A new biome? That's a fun game. I'll have to check that out. I, I I have like mindlessly played that every once in a while. That is so fun. Hey, it's a squid. No, it's not. You had a placement between second and final year they're keeping me on okay that sounds like a positive thing right you work from home sometimes so you can have carps going at the same time that's awesome that and balatro what the heck is balatro is balatro the um poker roguelike thing or not I'm going to open up my Steam real quick because I just want to be able to look that up really quick. I think that's what that is. It's so good. See, I don't understand it. What were we talking about earlier that I was going to see? Oh, um, I was going to see if, uh, Ooh, there it is. Necropolis. That's a cool name. I was going to, oh, Spirit Island is so good. I was going to see if, uh, the angler had that map on sale. Spain Reserve. Oh, they just came out with a new map, too, actually. They just came out with a brand new map, didn't they? <laughs> I haven't even thought about that. South Africa came out. So it looks like it's not on sale. $9.99 is probably full price. I wonder how South Africa's doing. Is that a hard game to explain, Blunty? Because I just, 
I watched somebody, no, I don't know, might have watched the trailer. I watched something and I was like, I, I, don't, I don't understand. Spain was on sale a week ago? Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, I might just wait. I, I don't know. I got to see, once I have time, I just got to see like, where, where, where am I? Where am I at? Am I wanting to play Angler more? I mean, I probably will. I don't know. We'll see. There's no rush, though. I mean, it might be nice to play a new map when people are experimenting on it for the first time, but I don't know. By the way, I love that the Deck Builders Fest is going on. There's some really cool Deck Builders. Um, blah, blah. Not on sale. Oh, it is kind of on sale. It's just like one of those things where it's like, I'm sure something cool is going on. I don't understand it, though. I bet if you play it, you figure it out. It's probably obvious. Ooh, wait, that looked cool. Were they just buying? Is that how you like upgrade? You buy stuff with like money you've made or what? What's going on there? That actually looked really cool. Arcana pack, celestial pack. Choose one of up to three tarot cards to be used immediately. What was the gap between Norway announcement and release? Like, wasn't it months? Wait, do you mean actual announcement? Because they had some teaser stuff where it was like, we saw the picture of the crab on the dock and stuff like that. But when, I don't know how long it was when we actually knew what it was kind of thing. It's a roguelite. You upgrade each, each round with money you make in the game. Okay. Yo, so you can actually go back and look, Dark Rocket. You can look in the forums. Uh, you should be able to go back and see, like, the patch notes that came out when Norway actually released and, like, you know, find out that date. And then go back and find out where the announcement date was. I think you can track that in the forum, but I, I don't remember off the top of my head, though. It's so weird, like on Twitch, it says that my stream is unstable. So the average bit rate is slightly too high. But on OBS, it says all good. It says it's green, it's doing well. But I wonder if it is like, a little too high a bit rate for streaming because of the way I have it set up for YouTube. I don't know. It's laggy from time to time. Buffs are going crazy. What? What? Maybe that's what I should fish for. Uh, not tomorrow, but Sunday. I guess it depends on how it's doing then. All right, well, let me get out of Steam. Sometimes Steam can, like, do crazy things. So let's exit out of Steam. And let's see if it's doing better. It's like, a, a, yeah, I mean, that's because of the stability thing, probably. I think I just need to go de to, like, nuke the, the, the uh, bit rate. I mean, the whatever I think we're trying to um, process a little too high of a bit rate for streaming 
How many fish species are in the angler? Gosh, I don't know. There's a bunch. Because it's across four maps now. Um, but honestly, like, the bottom fishing isn't very good. The spin fishing's okay. The float fishing's okay. But you can only fish with one rod at a time. So that really takes away from the bottom fishing. You can set different rates for streaming and recording. Yeah. I think... I don't know. I think I just need to back off the streaming rate a little bit. I don't know if it'll let me even pull it up in the middle of the stream, but let's see. Just to tell you what it is. Uh, so for streaming, we have a 6,000 K PPS bit rate. Is that okay? Computer usage says very fast. Higher is less CPU. Maybe we should go to fast? I, I don't know. Profile, tune. Yo, uh, what's up, Chris? First time chatter, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Rate control CBR. So 1080p should be 60. Okay, so that's fine then. Or should be 6,000 if you're at if you're at uh, 30, it's 4,500. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like something's different because it's giving me that unstable thing. Rate control, CBR. I think that's right a lot of stuff i can't change midstream anyway so i mean I, hopefully it's fine i mean we'll just we're just going to go a little longer anyway but I'll, I'll try to take a look at it 60 frames per second versus 30 yeah Yo, we're way off our spot now it's also getting to be night time There's definitely some overlap from map to map, it seems like, in the angler, but each map also has different fish, so I don't know the exact number, but it seems like there's quite a bit at this point. Yo, Dark Rocket, thanks so much again for the support. Thanks for being here. See you next time. I'm actually about to wrap it up too, so no worries. Let's catch another fish and then let's head into town and see how we've done. I also could start to stream um, from my the, the computer I'm playing on instead of using my other computer to stream from. But yeah, this one's actually currently set on 2,500 and 160. That's a lot lower, right? Huh. So, so I don't know if you've ever played around with this before, Blunty, but I'm actually using NDI to, over my network, send the signal from my computer I'm playing the game on to the computer I'm streaming from. Tapecom says, really love Spinfish, despite I need third Tagara.
Those Tagaras are nice. You're using those for carp fishing, I'm assuming. They also work for spin fishing, so that might be what you're talking about too, but almost there. Nice. That's awesome. We are way off of the, the bank we're supposed to be on. Oh, got something. Basically, you have 52 card deck. You draw eight cards. Then you make poker hands out of those cards. You get a certain amount of hands you can play, and it's a certain amount of times you can discard up to five cards and draw five more. Then each round, you have a blind with a chip count you have to beat. Each hand has a certain amount of chips it's worth and a multiplier. You can get jokers that sit at the top of the screen and modify the hands you play for f for more chips or molts. Molt, molts. <coughs> and then it goes from there. Now, he's talking about that um, poker roguelite on Steam right now. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, Blunty just said the name of it a little bit ago. It is called Balatro. Bala, B-A-L-A-T-R-O. Oh my goodness. Thanks for s describing that, Blunty. I think I have it on my wish list. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for it. I, again, I'm like, this is the first time I've had any sort of free time really in a while. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to end up doing with myself, but we'll see. Like I said, tomorrow I'll be gone all day. But Sunday and Monday, I'll be around. That's awesome, Blunty. Yeah, I mean, I've only heard good things about it. So I, I, I trust you. I just haven't uh, haven't actually checked it out yet. All right, so there's 105 silver for four Macs. If you've been fishing where I've been fishing, definitely check out that Mac order. That's ridiculous. Ridiculously good. But that's all we're going to have. Haddock would have been possible maybe if we stayed at the first spot longer, but... We still did 626 silver plus another 100. So still pretty good. It just wasn't, like that first 30, 45 minutes wasn't as good as I'm used to on 34. But it wasn't bad. Just wasn't as good as I'm used to. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to peace out. I won't be around tomorrow. Uh, hopefully I will see you all again on Sunday and, and or on Monday. But I do hope you all have a, Good day tomorrow. Thanks for ch chilling with me tonight. And thank you for the, all the support. It has been a fun night hanging out with you guys. I will see you soon, but I wish you the best. Tight lines, everybody.